Hey, looters, Pete here. It is Friday the 23rd, and this is your So Close to the Weekend Looter News, featuring the birthday of Loot Crate co-founder Matthew Aravalo. We bought him a pony. Are you tired of having to choose between games based on toasted bread and games about goats running around doing goat things? Well, then look no further than goat bread. While this might sound like a bit of a weird sandwich, it's actually a dating sim available on Steam, starring a piece of bread and a goat. You heard me. Goat Bread downloadable content available on Steam will feature the title characters of the previous games I Am Bread, about a piece of bread trying to become toast, and Goat Simulator. Basically goats in what is referred to as super new cross love content and is somehow even more bizarre than that Halo slash Sonic the Hedgehog fan fiction I wrote in college. Did I say that out loud? Ignore that. Goat Bread officials are quoted as saying, I Am Bread will have a new Goat Simulator inspired level Rampage mode and Goat Simulator a new playable piece of bread, Crumbs. This brand new content will be included in both games and is free to existing owners, adding 100% more goat and bread to their experience. Because of reasons. All right, now in more half-baked news, there is now an update on David Goyer's Krypton TV series spinning out of Man of Steel. Now, even though it's been a while since we heard anything about it, Krypton is still in development over at Sci-Fi. In an interview with Collider, Man of Steel writer David Goyer revealed a few new tidbits about the show, and it's speculated that it would be the first DC TV series to connect to the movie universe, unlike Arrow or The Flash. So it looks like Krypton will take place around 200 years before the start of Man of Steel and follow Superman's grandfather as he tries to bring, quote, hope and equality to Krypton. Now, whether that means he's trying to break down the incredibly ineffective class system that didn't stop a scientist from learning the skill to take out the leader of a planet's armed forces in a fist fight, or it has something to do with those giant dragonfly monsters remains to be seen. In Goyer's own words, it won't be wall-to-wall -wall visual effects every single moment, a spectacle in the way the film will be, but we'll also be digging into the characters and the culture a lot more. Now, Krypton's past has been explored in the comics before, though usually with Superman somehow getting blasted back in time and ending up there. That's not to say that there's not a lot of ground to cover in the two centuries before the planet's destruction, such as the abduction of the city of Kandor by the villain Brainiac, or the comic misadventures of Jax Ur, the man who broke the moon, or even the discovery of the Phantom Zone. Goyer will co-write the pilot and executive produce with Once Upon a Time's Ian Goldberg, but there's no word yet on a release date. So looters, do you think that goat bread will be greater than the sum of all of its parts? And are you excited about a period piece TV show taking place on Superman's home planet? Sound off in the comments for your chance to win three months of loot, Click that big, beautiful subscribe button and then go have a great weekend. But Nick, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Matt. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 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 birthday time. Birthday time. Birthday time to you, Matt. Birthday, birthday, birthday.